see or not. All right. So it is, it is Arabia. It's not dry Arabia, as we can see here with the little oasis in the back. I'm gonna go Alt G and yeah, let's look at Fiat for a second. He'll be the player in blue, and it is a, a rather uh, no, I was gonna say open map, but it's not really. You can wall this off here between. Wait, I think I need to go do not disturb mode. People keep sending me messages here. All right, this area here at the main gold for Fiat is actually wallable, nicely wallable, and at the sides it's not too much of an effort either. So I would say Fiat has an an okay map. Uh, not too much wood in the back, but the rest is fine. The gold could be called forward, but whatever. Boars are fine. Nothing to complain really. Let's take a look at Tato. He's playing under the name Robert Stinson. Uh, he has nice wood to the side. At the back the wood is a little bit better for him. But then the gold is really forward and there's nothing really to wall here. This is easily double the distance. If you compare it with Fiat, uh, Tato would have to wall here. Uh, also, there's a hill. If Fiat gets control over this hill here in the front, uh, it's a big problem for Tato. Always uh, keep in mind the hill bonus, 25%. And yeah. So overall, we're reaching the four minute mark. Yeah, no restart. Overall, uh, Fiat has a better map. Um, civilizations, Aztecs against Huns. Oh, that is uh, interesting, actually. I didn't even look at that because I was sure it was a mirrored matchup. But no, look at that. Aztecs against Huns. I really love um, non-mirrored matchups. Because it it yeah really shows the different strengths of civilizations. Okay, I'm really curious now how this will turn out. Let's follow the Eagle Warrior maybe for a second. Now VH is yeah near Tato's base. He found the main gold. He found the stone and yeah, now he's entirely sure. Berries, wood, he's 100% sure the town center must be located here in this area. And yeah, that's the point of view from Fiat. Let's see what Tato is doing. Okay, yeah. Up, and there's the first clue. Three golds really close to each other, so that is a clear indication. Fiat must be there and he found the barracks coming up. That is kind of expected actually from Aztecs. Uh, the interesting part here is that um, it is located really far from the town center. It is actually, uh, well, not, not dangerous because you can't kill a, a villager with loom in Dark Age here, but it could easily be harassed and the barracks would be you know, slowed down. And here comes the walling. First few palisades coming up. Militia getting garrisoned in the barracks. So it looks like Fiat wants to be really safe. He's even walling behind the forest to keep potential crossbows out of range here. Imagine crossbow standing here, they could still reach the villagers and Fiat wants to de deny that, so he's going the extra mile, walling really far from his lumber camp. 
Okay, Tato moving the scout again. He could have been <laughs> walled in here actually for a split second. Um, similar thing happening um, here with Tato actually. That is an interesting build order. He went up with um, population 22, which is, well, what you would expect from Hans and yeah, transition into scouts, but he's getting his own militia walled in the villagers here at the gold. This palisade is on 70 HP. Yeah, Tato forced to repair it. And it's four and five militia joining the party. And let's see how Tato is gonna deal with this. Oh, is there actually a wall? No. This is walled because this tree here covers the entire square, so it's all good. Still no reaction. Oh, man at arm upgrade. And it's a fast upgrade. Look at that. 70% already. By the time he's going to arrive, he might just get it. Yes. Got it. First hit. Nice surprise here for VH, but it is still 3 against 5. Good micro hero, first militia down. This man at arm will die for sure. And here comes the scout with 3 plus 2 attack. Ah, good micro here from Fiat. Freezing and blocking one of the men at arms. So, yeah, that's that. The Eagle Warrior died though. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, looks like it. So three militia left. We'll scout here on 23 HP. One more men at arm coming up for Tato. And meanwhile, Fiat completed his honestly pretty big wall. I thought he would have walled towards the side somewhere here, but no, he went through. And wow, Tato actually moving forward, getting a tower, but now it actually paid off that Fiat walled so far to the front. It's gonna, gonna take some time for Tato to break through here. I'm not saying he'll not make it through, but until he can actually do damage, harass villagers, maybe kill a villager, it's gonna take time. Yeah, I think the shenanigans here are over just two units and Fiat wants to be safe now. He really needs to keep his walls closed, not allow Tato in. Who is going in really aggressive second archery range and skirmishes, so that indicates he's not really in a hurry to go up to castle. Very interesting build order from Tato, I have to say. And for once, I am actually not being sarcastic. Uh, I really think it is an, an interesting build order that could actually work here against Aztecs, who are on paper the stronger Siphon Arabia. It would be really cool to, to see a way to actually beat Aztecs on, an, on a high skill level. the economy for a second maybe. Um, it's a use F4. 33 villagers for Tato, 32 for Fiat. Let's go back to the standard view. So Fiat up to castle as expected. He played a standard Drush FC with Aztecs. I'd say five militia and then going up to castle as soon as possible and walling. You should always point that out. Drush wall FC. That's how it should be called. The wall is really a substantial part of the strategy. And yeah, just as I thought, Tato is 
taking his time here to break through. But this was maybe a mistake from Fear. She started adding more HP to this house while this house is actually really in danger here. S sorry, just 97 HP left. Quite a few ranged units shooting at it. And how's Fiat Stone looking? He has 105 in the bank, two villagers here. That's gonna be crucial. If Fiat manages to bring in this stone, then he can afford another tower and yeah, be safe in his base. Right now he does not have the stone. This is 12 and this is 12. Okay, so Fiat has 129 stone, so he can get a tower. Oh, there is a hole. Yes, there is a hole between the two houses. Again, the hill. The hill making life hard for Fiat here. Good position. Uh, I think uh, Tato even got the hill bonus. He does have fletching. Um, Fiat has the Botkin arrow already, plus two. And here is the tower. The tower that Fiat needed badly, if you ask me. Without this stone, Fiat would be in a much, much tougher spot right now. Palisades here in Tato's base. What is Fiat trying to accomplish here? Did he actually remove um, straggler trees? That would not be nice, but you can do it. Okay, so villagers from this wood line here had to move. Some of them are garrisoned, some of them moved here to the, to the side. Tato trying to camp the hill now. Fiege could move out if he deleted that house. Let's check uh, Tato. Yeah, he's not, not even close to uh, clicking up to castle, just as expected. I mean, this was really aggressive. Forward villagers to uh, ranges pretty much instantly so that's the drawback we're not gonna be up to castle soon ah oh, nice micro here fiat immediately targeted the villager who was repairing the tower the villager died and this tower will go down now. 150 HP against, yeah, more than 400. And Fiat snuck out here with five archers, raiding the wood here. There's a tower defending the gold. I wonder how he didn't see the stone here, actually. But anyway, did some damage already. Nice little raid. Yeah, he will at least chase these vills away. Can he kill one? And no. It's a close fight. And yeah, Fiat is ungarrisoning here. He deleted a palisade here, so he's moving right through the middle while Tato is yeah, a little bit more to the east here on the map. And yeah. I think I think the tech advantage is really paying off for Fiat now. Um, Fiat does have Botkin, he does have the crossbow, man upgrade researched. But of course he needs to micro. Crossbowmen are much better than feudal age scrams, but you still have to micro. Or the other way around. If you micro your crossbows, you can beat feudal age scrubs. Let's put it like that. Okay. Now oh, this is um, a dangerous position for Fiat. Oh no, he saw it coming. He saw it coming. Standing under the tower and having the enemy army shooting at you. That's a loss sooner or later. And Fiat is doing a good job, keeping Tato on his toes constantly, to the left, to the right. 
and yeah, I feel taking control over this hill here apparently. There's only four archers garrisoned and yeah, PH using three, four villagers bringing army in to secure the area. And here's a mix between Skurams and archers raiding. Now this is looking really good for Fiatch now. Tato just uh, now reaching castle 8. Obviously he'll get Botkin error immediately. Oh! I have to take that back. Scaleboarding armor. Um, but no knights queued. Was that a misclick? Okay, now I am confused. Okay, he is getting knights out of one stable. Wondering why he's not making use of the second stable right now. But okay, it makes sense now. Now, but still, it is GG. It is GG. Um, he got up to castle too late and... Yeah, his economy was way behind. Uh, let's just look at the village account. That's 43 for Fiat against 37. And yeah, a big advantage. Fiat had all castle upgrades for a while now. So, makes sense. Tato lost the control over this hill here. And Fiat was harassing all over the place. GG. Let me upgrade the score. Oh, I see Ra. Yeah, Ra, sure. Quickly show the achievements. Just for the people who like their numbers. But I think it was really strategy, not so much the, the mark.